So up until this point, we've talked about apps like Spatial TV and apps like Skybox that give you a immersive theater environment to watch content in. But what if there was an app that actually combined both of those features? Por que no lo está? Well, it exists. I'd like to introduce you to Moon VR Video Player. And it's not that new. It's actually been around for a while, probably about seven years ago. And they just recently added the spatial lighting feature into the app. Let me show you that first. So first off, I don't want you to get too excited because there is no dimming your pass through in this app. So I had to actually get into a dark environment, but you can see this glow that's kind of bouncing off of the couch. The couch was scanned in the spatial room setup, but you can see it's a little bit of a glow, a little bit of reflection from the screen. And it's kind of nice. It's not as much as you get in spatial TV, but it's good. So in addition to having that little bit of a lighting feature on those surfaces, you can actually anchor the screen to different surfaces in your room, whether it's a wall or a couch that you've scanned in that room setup. This makes it super easy to be able to put the screen somewhere in a nice viewing space without having to resize it yourself or anything like that. And something I didn't know I actually needed is the little drop shadow under the screen. It gives just a little bit of realism to the screen. It doesn't make it look like the screen is a cutout in the wall. It actually makes it feel like it's actually sitting on top of the wall. And because you're watching this video here in the construct, the good people over at Moon VR are offering you just for this month 10% off with the exclusive code and it helps support this channel. Thank you, Moon VR, for sponsoring this video. If you take advantage, don't forget to like and subscribe, and the code is in the description. Let me show you some more stuff. One of the first thing I noticed was this custom environment here, this space station. You can see it's for purchase though, it's an additional cost of $9.99. It looks like they're sourcing these from artists that build them, but they're pretty cool. This one was pretty epic when you look around and see how big this space station actually is. And there are other environments to enjoy as well. You can see if you click here that there is the stars, which might make you a little bit dizzy if you aren't used to that kind of thing. And then there's the personal theater room. I like the little twinkle lights in the ceiling on this one. It's a nice touch. And of course the home moon VR environment. It's a pretty epic environment. There's a lot going on in this environment. So if that's not your thing, there's always the just black void so you can focus on the movie you're watching. And moon VR comes equipped with network sharing. So you can set up a shared folder on your PC right here. You see the SMB share. You can pull up all of the folders on your PC. I'll go ahead and navigate here to a movie folder and show you that I can actually pull the movie that you've been seeing from my PC. Now, I know you guys are wondering why I like About Time so much. I do like it, but I actually own a legal digital copy of this movie, so that's why you see it so much here on the channel. And speaking of the DVD cover, you can see that the poster image is actually here in Moon VR Video Player. That is a scraping feature that they have. It scrapes the synopsis of the movie and the image of the box cover so that you're not just looking at blank tiles when you're navigating through your movies. And that's all controlled here in the settings. There is a poster scraper option right here. You can turn that on or off if you don't want it to do that, but it's based on the names of the files that you have in your folders. And then there's head tracking control. So if you don't really like holding the Quest control in your hand while you're watching content, you can turn this on and it gives you this little confirmation dot and it's controlled by your gaze. You can look wherever you need to and just hold it there until you select that item. You can see that happening here. And one thing that I like to see when it comes to these apps is that everybody isn't necessarily familiar with using a VR controller. So the user manual is connected to the controller here and they pop this up as much as they can when you're using the app. It's kind of neat how they did this. So you can see exactly what you need to press to do exactly what you need it to do. Um, this is great, especially for people new to watching things in VR. And I can't really show this to you, but you can use the controller's thumbstick to actually control the volume. This is a natural familiar feeling of using a remote and having a volume rocker button right there in your hand. You can just push it up, push it down, and you can change the volume, or you can switch this to manipulate the screen size. And also I was excited to see this option here, the cloud service option. So you can look at things from the cloud. It looks like Google Drive is not quite ready yet, but I'm excited to see that here. It'll save space on your headset. And speaking of saving space, there's a USB option as well. So you could just load your movies on a USB stick, put it in the side of your Quest and save that precious hard drive space that we all know we need. But there's other things here other than just your normal viewing options. 
So you can see here, we can go from flat to 180, 360. Obviously this is just a flat video, fisheye. So depending on the format of the video, all of that is available here. Whatever type of VR video you might be watching, you can set this up. But it doesn't just stop there. There's also other options to increase the look and feel of the video. So you could actually change the brightness, the saturation, the contrast. So even if the file you have isn't quite right, you can actually fix it right here in Moon VR Player. Moonlink is actually for showing videos that you might have on a PC or a Mac in your home. You don't necessarily know how to set up a shared folder. A shared folder would show up here in the network, right? It would show up as a shared location for you to pull up and then you can pull up anything that's in those folders. Moonlink works a little bit differently. The application runs on your Mac or PC and you can just drag whatever media files you want to show up here in Moon VR into that app. So if I search for devices, what it will do is actually find the Mac or PC with some videos that I have predetermined to show in Moon VR. So these are just some over the head videos that I was taking of a Quest accessory. You can see here, everything plays in your theater. Let's go to a different scene. There's pass through, of course. And I can anchor that to the wall or anchor it to the chair. So that makes it easy just to get things over to the headset and you don't have to have everything housed on the headset, right? Moon VR is one of those apps that kind of flies under the radar. Hopefully this video has helped you find something that checks a lot of boxes for your content watching. If you took advantage of the deal, type got it in the comments so I know that these videos help and we'll see you here next time in the construct. Peace.